fellow Nintendo fans, good evening, good morning, or good night, depending on what time you're looking at this auction. Ergo, if you are looking at this auction at like 2 a.m. in the morning, ergo, you're probably a really big loser, but that's besides the point. Anyway, the point of this video is to showcase why this is the coolest GameCube ever built, ever created. I mean, seriously, just the simple fact that, one, the day-day, the auction that you've stumbled upon, the man, the myth, the legend, owned it, that alone will make it the super coolest GameCube ever. Well, anyway, the point of this video is to show you exactly what makes this GameCube tick and why you should bid on this freaking ultra elite GameCube. So, without further ado, let me show you my GameCube. So, what exactly are you bidding on in this auction? Well, let's begin. Let's begin with the GBA. This GBA right here is a badass GBA. Why is it a badass GBA? First of all, it's white, so it's gotta be badass. It, it looks like Nintendo DS Lite, but it's not. Like, people like, oh man, Nintendo DS Lite. Like, nah, dude, it's a GBA. And people will be like, retro, dude, retro. So anyway, GBA. Uh, now, how many GameCube auctions includes a Game Boy Advance with a connection to the GameCube so you can play all those cool GBA connectivity games such as um, Wind Waker, badass. Forget online gaming, screw that. So you see, GBA connectivity was the most innovative thing from last gen, and if you never got to try it, you are really a big loser. So it is included in this auction, all this. I mean, this thing right here could be sold separately for like a bajillion dollars alone, but this is gonna be included in the auction because this is just the most badass auction out there on eBay. So anyway, just to show you an example of how neat this is, look at that. Look at that Game Boy Advance, one of the hottest Game Boys ever released. And uh, we're starting to play some video games here from DreamWorks. I'm playing uh, a very elite game, which by the way also comes with the auction. Shark Tail, badass, very badass. I think it has like an average of like 29% at GameRankings.com, something like that. That's badass, it's very badass. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is of course... I call this puppy the juice, aka the power cord. But this right here, this is what powers the GameCube. This right here is what makes your dreams come true. This is the power cord. This is this is what gives the GameCube the electricity that it needs. Thank God for uh, Thomas Jefferson, or was it Thomas Edison? I don't know. Whoever discovered or, or, or invented electricity, I guess. But anyway, what else? What else? What else we got here? We have here. What we have here is, uh, is, is this thing right here is a two-in-one. It's a two-in-one. What the hell is it, you say? It's, it's weird looking. If you, if you remember a game called Fantasy Star Online, Sega are a bunch of idiots, pretty much. I mean, they, they released it, but they didn't release a keyboard with it, so you really had no way to communicate with people. Well, Bajing, this is how you communicate with people. Back when I had Fantasy Star Online, when I was, uh, you know, ruining the community by duping and hacking and peeking and stealing items and making little kids cry. This this is the puppy I used to communicate. This right here, if you have an old keyboard, this is where you'd connect it and you could yes, you could type with the keyboard on Fantasy Star Online. Finally. Finally. But it's a two in one. So what's its other purpose? Budging. See that right there? What's this for? I'll show you. Check this out. This right here is badass. You don't like the GameCube controller, right? Cause cause you know, you, it, it's not cool enough for you. Well Right there. Right there. PS2 controller. Meet the GameCube. So it's like, it's kind of like cross-breeding because the PS2 isn't really supposed to you know, do it with GameCube, but with this thing, you can do it with the GameCube with your PS2. That's pretty hot right there. So you might be thinking in your head, man, that 2-in-1 is really cool, man. But what if my friends are just as cool as I am too and, uh, they want to use their PS2 controllers while we're playing GameCube too. Well, that's why it also includes these. These puppies are one in ones. And the PS2 controller, what you do is you just connect it right here, and voila, magic. By the way, this this ultra hot PS2 controller is a billion dollars, so but it, I can't include an auction. I just can't. This is my only one. The other thing this auction comes with is four. That's right, four. Count it, four. Four GameCube controllers, jet black. 
it includes that, the, the four controllers to control things in the video game world. Uh, anyway, so you see the four controllers and you're probably thinking in your head, wait a minute, it's, it's, it's not wireless, it's not a wave bird, boo hoo hoo, you don't need a wave bird, get out of here man, all you need is this, this right here, two of these are included in the auction, these are GameCube controller extension cables, and all you do is, you connect it like so, and BAM, you got yourself a really long GameCube controller. And if you want to make it even longer, all you do is connect it, connect the second one, and right there, you've got an ultra long GameCube controller. And uh, from what the gamer ladies in the forums tell me, longer is always better. And this right here, ladies and gents, that's pretty damn long. Yeah, You're jealous, aren't you? Yeah, I bet you are. And uh, what else are you bidding on here? And uh, of course, we're bidding the. Uh... Can't touch this. Can't touch this. The Almighty GameCube, which, as you can see right there, I'll go into further in depth later with that. And uh, look at that. it opens up. And uh, you know what else is so badass about this GameCube is that this isn't a sissy GameCube. This isn't purple. This isn't. First of all, it's not indigo. It's purple. Okay, like Barney purple. Alright, get that straight. This GameCube is special because it's freaking black. Not just any black, jet black. And uh, look at that, look at that. And check this out, guys. You know what made the GameCube badass? Bang! Look at this. It's like a lunchbox. Sweet! Nintendo's genius, man. Genius. So, ladies and gents, like I said before, I was going to go more in depth with the GameCube and the power that it has. So, what we have here. As you can see, is the GameCube setup. Now you're probably wondering, okay, this is an ultra badass GameCube, but how am I going to connect it to my HD TV? HD what? A HD what? HD what? HD TV? Get the hell out of here, man! This is the ultimate connection. See that right there? See this puppy right here? S video. And check it out. If you're so hardcore, you're so hardcore, right? It even has the original AV jacks. And uh, as you can, you can follow this ring thing right here connects directly, directly to the GameCube, the S-Video, check that out, and as you can see right here, this cord, this awesome, awesome S-Video cord, you can also use to connect to your PS2 and Xbox, because it's a 3-in-1, isn't that hot, and this, this, this comes with the auction right here, this right here is, I'm telling you right now, I, I can't even name the price anymore, anyways, if you're wondering about the RF switch, I'm sorry, I'm the only one that's hardcore enough to own that. Now the last feature that I'm going to show you of this ultra awesome GameCube could potentially cause eBay to end this auction if they found out that this was in the GameCube. So that if you got if you got this far already in the video without killing yourself, consider yourself uh, very, very badass. But anyways, here's the cool feature about this GameCube. And you are... Yeah, what the hell? It's Japanese! Yes, ladies and gents, included in this auction is the Japanese version of Soul Calibur 2. And everybody knows everything from Japan is a billion times better than what's here in America. So, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> well, ladies and gents, check this out. Check this out. See that little red uh, red thing right there? We touch it. We click on that. We push it on. And uh, we turn on our spiffy GameCube here. Whoa! Japanese! Look at that Japanese on the screen! So anyways, I'm pretty much going to switch it back to the American version. Uh, so all you do here is you go back to the back, you press it again, so that the red button is out. Super Smash Bros. is a fighting game. Y'all can go to hell. <laughs> 